If you publish a new video, then you can observe the views going up in the first view days. But what happens next? Well, that is really what decides how valuable your video is in the long run for your channel. And for that reason, I revamped the Velocity tab in order to teach you what happens there. Well, the Velocity tab here that you see in Morning Fame's Analytics. So here we have my latest video and you can see the views going up in the first three days. That's the view velocity that we have here. But now as an effect, we have the YouTube algorithms that kick in to further promote the videos. When you check your own videos, you probably will see as well, it's very common that at first, as you can see here, the home algorithm and the notifications start to promote this video in the beginning after you published it. And one important note here, as you can see, most of it is yellow. That's the views from subscribers. These views mostly go into the view velocity and we will talk about it more in a minute because that's really how everything starts. But let's focus on the effect first. So here we have the initial promotion from home and notifications when my video was still nine days old. When it was a little bit older, 14 days now, you can see that home is still the top source for views, but now YouTube search kicks in. YouTube search, because I did YouTube SEO for that video, it started ranking in search. And after some time, we will see that really the search algorithm is bringing constant views for that video because the YouTube SEO worked. So it's really dynamic in the end and you can observe that now in the Velocity tab easily. By the way, these two graphs are the top two traffic sources that drive views to this video. You can click the full algo list button to see a full list. So home and search are the top two. Then we still see the notifications that kicked in on the very first day mainly, the subscription feeds as well. And you can see now, I zoom in to make it better visible, see a little bit of external traffic, Google search traffic, and so on. But this is just one example how that can work. For each video, it can be very different how it evolves over some time after you published it. Here, for example, we have a classic knowledge video, YouTube traffic sources explained. And here, of course, I did YouTube SEO as well. And now, even after two years, I get constant views from YouTube search as well as Google search thanks to successful YouTube SEO. But then again, videos can succeed in other ways as well. For example, here I have a video about gaining your first 100 subscribers and you can see even after seven months, the home algorithm continues to promote it mostly to my subscribers because this is mainly yellow and that a little bit thanks to the link content that is playlist cards and screens to link everything up to show you that in more detail. Let's go to the full algo list again. And here in the link content section, you see a little bit more details. Where do people arrive from? And here you can see it is my other video about gaining 1000 subscribers as well as my getting your channel monetized playlist. So this video is actually part of a trilogy that I did in order to explain everything that you need in order to reach monetization. So that includes a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. And these videos are also promoted by home as well as thanks to the link content. You can see that here again in the full algo list. When I go to link content here, we have the other videos showing up. So people basically binge watch the series to an extent. And by the way, this was the first trilogy that I ever did with the help of the new niche tool that I'm about to publish. I hope I remember to add a card here once the tool is out. And that is a really a different way to optimize your videos so that they are successful in the long run as well. But no matter how you optimize your videos, how you make your videos successful, they all have in common that it starts with their view velocity. And let's talk about that in a second in detail. But first I mentioned a lot about the YouTube algorithms, right? So if you are not familiar with the algorithms so much, you may go to the algorithm tab that you find next to the velocity tab. And there you have a list of all the different algorithms. And for each one, you see a link 
that links to my best tutorial that explains how these algorithms work in detail under the hood. So what you need to do in order to trigger that algorithm more, get more views while that algorithm. I will also link you to a good series in the end screen. But all right, let's go back to view velocity. You know, even though the different algorithms work differently, you will see when you dive into those tutorials, all have in common the higher the view velocity of a given video, the higher the chance all the different algorithms promote your video more in the long run. So the common goal where you can focus on without having to distinguish between different optimization strategies, the common goal is to get your view velocity up as high as you can. So here you see I got after 72 hours, three days to 618 views, which is good for my channel. But of course, it's always good to get more. And the big question is, how do you get more? And for that, the velocity tab has a special section at the top. I mentioned earlier that the first views you get for your videos are mostly from your subscribers. They get notified, they find your video via home, right? So what you can do in order to make sure that your subscribers keep coming back to watch your new videos is, for example, to have appealing thumbnails, publish at the right time, giving your subscribers a good experience. And feel free to go through those reports yourself. They are all explained very well when you open them. But let me give you one example, good subscriber experience. Here you see a top list of those videos that gave my subscribers the best experience. And our task here is to detect whether there are patterns in there. And for example, here in my top two videos, I can already see they both have in common that I teach you different ways in order to trigger the algorithms to get more views from them. In this example, it's all about the YouTube search algorithm. I explain YouTube SEO here to get more views via YouTube search. And here it's about the suggested videos algorithm and how to get more views from that algorithm. So I shall do more videos just about that, how to trigger the algorithms more, right? So with all these tips, hopefully you will see when you publish your new videos that for each new video, the view velocity graph here gets steeper and steeper and you reach more and more views in the first few days after you publish a video. And with that, I'm sure you will observe as well that the different algorithms kick in more and more to promote your videos for a long time. And since we talked so much about the algorithms, you're probably interested to learn more about the most important algorithms that I explain here, how they work under the hood and what you need to do in order to get more views from them. Cheers, my friends.